Well, here we are at the Hawker Center with a big rain coming down. So I'm at the JSTOR homepage, and I'm going to just show you how to search. All right, notice I put quotation marks around the phrase yellow turban, and I did not put turbans because then any yellow turban singular would not be included in the search. The quote marks make it a phrase search instead of a real search. But you know what? I'm going to be smarter, and I'm going to go to advanced search. I'm going to paste my full text. Notice I could make it item title. I actually want the title, but I'm going to just be safe and do full search. Um, let's see. I could put more terms in here, but instead I'm going to, and notice you can add many more fields there, and they would all just be like, you know, the author, a caption for an image, Abstract. The abstract is a, a one paragraph summary of the article. A lot of uh, articles don't have them, so it's a risky thing, but sometimes it might come up with something. Title and then author. You look in bibliographies, you will see key names that keep coming up the experts in the field. Ebree's textbook, The Cambridge Illustrated History of China, that I told you about, does list the major authors, researchers, scholars in any given field. So you could do an author search. By, for example, I don't know, let's do Michael Lowe. Um, more importantly, we scroll on down, we're still in advanced search. Now, I want articles, maybe I want books, because after all, Mr. Uh, Helmer in the library is willing to buy books upon order. I know it's too late for you this semester, but keep that in mind for the future. Uh, reviews are a very interesting thing. What is a review? It is a two-page scholarly review of another major piece of scholarship, a book or another article. So you'll hear other scholars critically evaluating the somebody else's work, disagreeing with it, pointing out weaknesses, all sort of things. This is very important. You want in your research to uh, find out what the controversies and arguments are. So. Looking at reviews will tell you one expert is disagreeing with another expert about your topic, and so you can get involved in that argument and come down on one side or the other. So that's uh, actually a, a good, useful thing to do. All right. I often go to, by the way, reviews just because I'm curious to see what other scholars think about the stuff that I read. Now, language. You can simplify our search by just doing that. Now, publication title, I'm going to leave that out right now. You could do, for example, you know, the Harvard Journal. I think that's what it's called. You could do something like that if you had a, a certain journal name. Finally, this is the most important. Narrow by discipline and or publication title. Let's do it by discipline. You notice you've got these little expand arrows here. So when you click those, you will see that you can you can uh, further limit it. So now notice you've got art history. I'm thinking of some of you doing arts, Asian studies. So let's do Asian studies, and but not all of them. Let's expand this and see. Come on, there we are. So you see that we've got all of these journals of Asian studies. Asian music, Asian theater, all that sort of thing. So, area studies is a good place to go to limit your search because it's going to have all of the journals about art and art history. I said area studies. If we expand that, you'll see that So those are all those are all titles. Let's just do Asian studies because it's going to have the. I just mentioned the Harvard Journal. And there it is, the Harvard Journal of Asiatic Studies, right? So a major work. All right, so it's going to have all of them. It's going to have your East and West. It's going to have early China, which I just subscribed to today. It's one hundred and ten dollars for a year. 
And so, yeah, so there we go. So now we're going to see what we come up with, if anything, for Michael Lowe doing anything about the yellow turbans in journals, books, or reviews. And we got zero results. So let's get rid of author. And search again. Notice what it did, it had this. Okay, so we got 76 research results now. We can sort by relevance, we can sort by the newest. And so let's see what we got here. 1958, notice that's pretty old. But it shows up first by relevance. So that must mean that it's quite a popular one. So I'm gonna open that up. Oh great, you're not gonna let me open it in a new window? Stop. Okay. Now, some very useful things going on here. Of course, there is the article itself. It tells you the page numbers. It's quite a long study. Let's go to summary and see what the summary tells us, if anything. Sometimes there's not a summary. See, I told you there's often no abstract, so there's no abstract there. But, scrolling on down, notes and references. So notice, I told you that there are some key scholars whose names you're going, want, you're going to want to know. So, there is one. Notice that this major scholar is, is citing this scholar in his footnotes. So, you want to start learning that there are people to go to. Then we've got that's all of his footnotes. Now, what's in Russian languages? So notice the books in Western languages is also not just books, but because the quotation marks tell us, it's also a, it's just a bibliography. Quotation marks tell us that it's not a book, it's a, an article in a journal, Monument to Serica, right? And so on and on. Um, so you could search JSTOR for any number of these books. Let's see, the economic history, no. I would want to do things like maybe search these, but notice if I were to copy this, I would have to remove that hyphen there for my search because this is just taken from the, the um, actual PDF page. <laughs> Finally, item citing this item. That's the last thing to be conscious of. You can go to items that search this item in Google Scholar. And while that's loading, let's just look at. So what does this mean? Items that cite this 
Oh god, it did it to me again. And notice this is 2004, so, and it's from a 2005 publication. So what did we just learn? That when you use JSTOR to look at one thing, you see that this item's site, the item you're looking at, are later items that, um, that reference this and discuss it. And so that is a, an easy way to sort of, you know, swing from one text to another. So we just saw that one, Chinese millenarian tradition. And so notice. Now we just opened this in Google Scholar. And Google Scholar tells us that there are some titles on JSTOR. So we can just click that and find that. This tells us it's a book, but you can click that and see if it's on JSTOR or go to booksongoogle.com and see what it shows you. So that's a quick overview of a smart way to search JSTOR. Again, going back to it, the important things you should remember are to limit your search by subject area. Let's do one more thing. Let's go to newest. Notice you can sort by 50, 100 titles or whatever, but we've only got 76 search files. Here. So what are the latest things? Notice that's a review. So some of you are reading the scripture of the Great Peace. Uh, that's a review of the book. And so what are we learning now? We're learning that when you do by newest, relevance is better because relevance actually is ones that focus on um, your search term. These other ones are indeed less relevant because they don't focus on the yellow turbans. They probably just mentioned them. Uh, John Fay from the Three Kingdoms. Um, so let's go back to now. So that's all results. Notice that includes books. You can go to journals to see just what's in journals. And let's see, that's 76. Well, we've got 83 results in, in journals. That's odd. And now let's do it by relevance. And we're back to that Michaud article. A Levy article, 1956. A later one, anytime you see something about revisionists, that means that they are revising earlier arguments, and that's always interesting. Front matter, that's going to be a table of contents type thing. Volume information, similar. And so we see that uh, although 86 show up, really only the first handful, are about the yellow turbans directly. So I hope that helped you. That's one way.
I'll stop with the JSTOR thing now.